Hi and welcome to MTB Cooking. Today we show you how to make a harissa, which is a Tunisian chili sauce. Very nice and spicy, goes well with kebab for instance. We start out by chopping up some red chili peppers very finely. And you can use any kind uh, and the strength of the chili is completely up to you. Here we have some that are kind of medium spicy and very very perfect for this harissa sauce. Even though it is a chili sauce, it does not have to be a very strong one. So you can use more mild chilies and that is not a problem. We use the seeds as well because they will only add in more spice. And we prepare some cloves of garlic to be crushed later on and then we chop up uh, an onion very nice and finely. Then we heat up oil in a pan. You can use olive oil, canola oil, whatever you prefer. And then you, uh, you add in your chilies, your onion and tomato puree or tomato paste it is. So what we do is we... Um, we fry this up, we want it to be at medium to high heat and we want to stir in it uh, quite often of course in order for it to not stick to the pan or burn but the idea is now to make a paste that will be the base of the harissa so we add in some crushed powdered cumin and all in all this paste will cook for around 15 minutes um, the longer the better, of course, the more taste it will get. So we salt and we pepper it as well. It's kind of important here to not forget this step because the salt, of course, will give it a lot of um, flavor and uh, it's the only salty uh, ingredient, that is the salt. We do... Um, what we do now is that we press with the spatula on the paste because we want it to be well combined, well, well integrated and to become, like I said, a paste. Then we add in smoked paprika. We have a sweet uh, kind here. We add that both to add the, the smoked uh, taste but also uh, because it gives it a very nice and red look. The, the color of smoked paprika is just wonderful. And then it's time to add the garlic. We add in minced garlic and we do this at the, uh, at the end, towards the end. We add in a little bit more oil actually along with this in order for the garlic to not burn on the pan. If you know uh, this already, um, you might know it already, but garlic is horrible when it gets burned on the pan and it starts to turn black. So you would like to add in more uh, oil here. Just let it cook for one more minute after having added garlic and then take it off. Let it uh, just rest for half an hour while you enjoy a nice glass of red wine if you feel like it. And then you want to take some preserved red bell peppers. They are nice and sweet in the taste. So um, if you don't have time to preserve them yourself, you can buy them like we did. Or of course you could, uh, you could make them yourself. Now, after the paste has rested for around half an hour, we can add it to a blender. We just use a magic bullet kind of blender here, but you can use whatever you have. And then you blend it together with the red bell peppers and together with white wine vinegar, which is going to make it more fluid, more liquid, and uh, also give this nice uh, sour taste along with some lemon juice. As you can imagine, this sauce is actually just the perfect combination of tastes. It's completely umami what you get out of it and the, the paste of the, the sauce that the Arisa is goes well with so many things. It's perfect for kebabs uh, or for pita breads or I mean you could use it for anything. You could eat it with an omelette. There are almost no limitations and that is what makes it such a brilliant sauce. Before we serve it, we just add a little bit of olive oil on top because it's gonna both make it more liquid but also give it this nice um, Mediterranean look. We made our own kebabs out of lamb and then we put them in a wrap together with uh, lots of uh, veg vegetables and then we added our harissa uh, and a little bit of Greek yogurt sauce and that was just an amazing wrap. The harissa just completes the dish and it's it's amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to MTB Cooking here on YouTube. Find us on Instagram and we'll see you next time in our next film. Bye!